In a way, Saints Row 4 has the same problem as Superman. The thing many comic book fans find a little bit boring about the Man of Steel is that if you're basically a god, nothing can challenge you. And what's a hero without a challenge to overcome? That same boredom eventually proves to be Saints Row 4's kryptonite. But not before showing us a good time by giving us superpowers and letting us run wild in the open world city of Steelport. In the first hour, our hilariously customizable Saints boss character pushes the increasingly over-the-top premise of an idealized street gang well past its limits. In a quick series of linear levels, you stop a terrorist attack, become President of the United States, and fight an invasion led by a huge alien British for some reason warlord. The whole story is so absurd and full of gags and references that it works. Why do you humans enjoy leaping so much? Get off my lawn, you son of a bitch! After that, you're trapped in a Matrix-like recreation of Steelport, which is disappointingly unchanged from the Saints Row the Third version, except for some massive alien towers and a few less noticeable tweaks. Saints Row 4's variety and personality comes mostly from its unique mission maps, which range from the alien ship to a hellish 1960s sitcom world to a Splinter Cell parody. It was kind of a pain to have to keep returning to my stolen alien ship to meet with my crew to get new missions. But it was worth it for the Mass Effect-inspired romance gags. Hey, Kinsey, you wanna f the character editor also deserves a special mention. Just like in Saints Row the Third, it's a fantastic toy that lets you play as virtually anybody. There are more costume options here than I even know what to do with, and just browsing the vast selection of characters other players have uploaded is good for at least another hour or two of entertainment. What is love? In the open world areas, Saints Row 4 effectively becomes an entirely different game from its predecessors thanks to these new superpowers. Super leaping and running through this city is liberating. There's nowhere you can't go on a whim. I felt nigh invulnerable because of the plentiful health pickups enemies drop, and all I ever had to do to get out of trouble was leap away. And with powers like telekinesis and ice blasts, I barely needed weapons at all, but I definitely appreciated the new alien arsenal. The standard Saints Row 2 player co-op mode is definitely enhanced by the superpowers. Watching another player demolish waves of aliens with ice blasts and shockwaves while dressed as a bearded lady in an astronaut outfit is almost as much fun as doing it myself. Yet with great power has come great drawbacks, as many of the good features carried over from Saints Row the Third now feel completely vestigial. Why do I need gun upgrades when I can shoot fireballs from my hands? Why should I bother summoning homies to help me in combat when I can throw tanks with my mind? What's worse is that getting pulled back into reality to do story missions causes severe whiplash. What do you mean I can't super jump? Running here is so slow. This sucks. I couldn't help feeling like a spoiled child who's sick of all his expensive toys yet cries when they're taken away. Of course, if it weren't for the new superpowers, mission design would rarely feel like anything more than standard issue open world stuff. Like, go here and kill everything, or find me this car I need and bring it back. But climbing the enormous alien towers is the standout. It's one of the few times where precise use of your powers actually seems to matter, outside of the very artificial feeling test courses. And like Saints Row's past, this one is full of side activities. Many are recycled, but still entertaining. A few new ones make use of our powers, like the super speed foot races and super jump platforming courses, but those can get old pretty quick. With its recycled map and wildly overpowered abilities, playing Saints Row 4 feels a lot like enabling godlike cheat codes in Saints Row the Third and going absolutely nuts. Its ridiculous story, goofy characters, self-aware humor, and amazing character editor make it all work. But its appeal is shortened by the ludicrous speed at which we can zip across it and grow tired of its lack of challenge. For more super-powered coverage of Saints Row 4, keep it on IGN.